Swan Lake. Once upon a time, far away in a deep forest, there was a lake known as the Swan Lake. On it, there lived a single swan, who glided silently and gracefully in the clear water. The Swan Lake, although beautiful, held a secret. When the sun set, the swan turned into a beautiful young woman. The woman was a princess, and her name was Odette. She had been cursed by an evil wizard called Rothbart, as he hated her kind ways. The only way to break the spell was if she found true love. Odette, still cursed, I see. <laughs> Haven't you broken the spell yet? Laugh all you want. My true love will definitely come and save me, Rothbart. True love. <laughs> who will find you in this dark forest? And who would love a swan? You will forever be alone here. <laughs> In a kingdom not far from the forest, there lived a queen who was very kind. She had a son, Prince Siegfried, who was handsome, smart, and strong. But kindness was not really his thing. One evening, the queen called him to her. Siegfried, come here. I have a surprise for you. What surprise could you possibly give a grown man? <laughs> Oh, a horse! Well, mother, he's really an average horse. Oh, come on, Siegfried! Oh, no, really, he doesn't look strong enough, mother. Ouch! Well, <laughs> seems feisty enough to me. Maybe you should name him Stomper. Now listen, I have another surprise for you. Siegfried saw three beautiful maidens come daintily towards him. These are maidens who have come to meet you for marriage. But I don't want to get married, Mother. And these girls, they don't even care for me. They only want to marry me because I am a prince. Oh, how rude! Siegfried, what are you saying? It is not like that. I don't want to listen to this. Here, horse. Let's see how strong you are. Let's go somewhere far away from here. <laughs> Stomper kicked his hooves up in the air and then galloped at full speed out of the kingdom. Prince Siegfried could not control him, and no matter how much he tried, the horse kept going on. Soon, they reached the forest. Stomper suddenly stopped, and Prince Siegfried was thrown over onto a pile of leaves. <laughs> oh my! <clears throat> Rotten horse! Can't even gallop properly! You'll pay for this! <clears throat> But as he turned, he saw the lake in front of him. He was so surprised that he almost forgot about his bad day. He slumped himself down near some bushes and stared out at the lake. Finally, some peace and quiet. Why does Mother do this? Wants me to marry someone I don't even know. And then she gives me a horse I don't even like. <laughs> what a horrible day. As the prince grumbled over his bad day, Princess Odette had hidden behind a tree and was now watching him. Who is that man? He seems to be really furious about something. Everything is horrible. The world is horrible. Even these flowers are horrible. On seeing him ruining the flowers, Odette was furious. Hey, you can't do that to the flowers. They haven't done anything to deserve that. Prince Siegfried was mesmerized by Odette's beauty. <coughs> Who are you? I am Odette, princess of this lake. How dare you come here and destroy those poor flowers? <coughs> I am Prince Siegfried. 
Why should I care for these silly flowers? They're not silly. They have feelings just like you and me. <sighs> Don't just agree with her. Odette put her hand on the flower and made it bloom again. Prince Siegfried was shocked. He had never seen anything like this. Odette saw him looking at what she's done. Why do you smile at me like that? When you help someone who is in need, you will know too. Try it. It doesn't hurt you to be kind. Are you insulting me? This is so silly. I'm leaving. Come on, horse. <sighs> hey, Prince, try it once. You will smile too. Whatever. Prince Siegfried galloped back fast. It was a long way back, and by now it was turning to dawn. On the way, he met a poor old man. Hey, young man, would you give me some water? I am very thirsty. Water? Who do you think? Just then, Odette's voice rang clearly through his mind. Hey, Prince, it is never too late to be kind. Uh, um, here, you may have this. Drink it all, I don't want it. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. The prince was so surprised at this that he actually smiled. He rode on in a very good mood and soon reached home. Next day in the palace, he decided to wish the maids. Something he had never done. And when he saw their expressions, he felt even better. So, this is what she meant. I think I'll go and see her tonight as well. So at night, he snuck out to where his horse was. <sighs> Shh! It's me! I want to go to the lake! Take me there right now! Huh? What do- Oh! <clears throat> I mean, please take me to the lake, Stomper. <clears throat> and away they went, back to the lake. Odette was extremely surprised. Oh! You're back! Why? What do you mean, why? Is is a prince not allowed to go wherever he pleases? Also, thank you for teaching me something really special yesterday. It is my pleasure. Come, let me show you around. You too, um... Oh, his name is Stomper. Hi, Stomper. You're a good horsey. Well, let's not even start on how good he is. Throughout the night, Siegfried and Odette laughed and chatted. She showed him many beautiful parts of the place. <laughs> <laughs> but her kindness and beauty was all he paid attention to. Every night he would go to see her, and by dawn they would separate. As the days passed, everyone noticed how kind and generous the prince had become. Son, I have something to tell you. Yes, mother. Tonight, all the maidens of the land will be invited for a ball, and you must dance with them. Oh, but mother, I already told you that I don't love any of them. <laughs> My child, the people of the kingdom are looking forward to their prince getting married and then taking the throne as a king. Tomorrow, you must choose a bride. That is my final word. What do I do, Stomper? <clears throat> that night, the prince danced with all the beautiful maidens that were there. He smiled sweetly to them, but all he could think about was Odette. The ball almost lasted the whole night, but when it was finally over, the prince snuck out of the palace. Stopper, let's go find Odette, shall we? <laughs> they galloped fast through the cold night, but little did they know, a shadow followed them both close behind. They soon reached the lake, panting. <sighs> Odette! Odette! Why, Siegfried! Tonight you are very la oh is is everything all right? Odette, I came here to tell you that I am in love with you. I can't stop thinking about you. Would you please be my wife? Oh 
I cannot. What? Why not? Because I'm... At that moment, the sun started to rise, and before Odette could finish her sentence, she had turned into a swan in front of Prince Siegfried's eyes. <laughs> Odette, no! What happened to you? How did you turn into a swan? <sighs> you see, long ago, a cruel wizard named Rothbart had put a spell on me. Now, because of his magic, I am human by night and a swan by day. Only true love can break this spell. Then, let me break it for you. I will love you dearly, whether you are a swan or a human or anything. <laughs> you think breaking a spell is that easy? <laughs> you think just saying you love someone proves your love? No. True love needs sacrifice. Are you ready to sacrifice for love? Yes, I am. I will do anything for her. Very well. No! Siegfried! How dare you do this to him? Ah! No! Odette! Wake up, my love! Odette! <laughs> Fools! Oh, oh, dead, my love. Oh, please wake up. With an evil grin on his face, Rothbart turned around and started to walk. But just then, Stomper came from behind and kicked him. <laughs> Rothbart went flying in the air, dropping his wand in the ground. With all his strength, Stomper kicked his hooves up in the air and stomped on the wand, breaking it into two halves. No! At that moment, Rothbart vanished into thin air and was never seen again. Suddenly, magical sparkles from the broken pieces of the wand came out. Its sparkles flew over to Odette and Siegfried and touched them. At once, Siegfried turned into his human form. Odette, too, turned back to her human form and opened her eyes slowly. Odette! Odette, are you okay? Yes, I am fine. What happened to Rothbart? Well, let's just say that our Stomper here took care of him. <laughs> the prince and Stomper took Odette to the palace. Siegfried explained everything to his mother, who was so happy to see the beautiful princess that she had once agreed for the marriage. Odette and Prince Siegfried got married in a splendid ceremony. Prince Siegfried took the throne as the king, and people of the kingdom were delighted. But what happened to Stomper, you may ask? Well, Stomper was appointed as the commander-in-chief in the king's army, and he made sure that the likes of Rothbart stayed miles away from the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs>